First of all, there's going to be a new podcast. This week's guest is Austin Distel. He is fabulous. He's like five. Um, he's not. He's 24. If you are not a disciplined person, okay, and I'm not, so d- there's no judgment here. The summer is challenging because the kids are all here during the day, so I don't have my set like my set schedule. I have to kind of work it around them and where they need to be and, you know, the fact that I didn't buy the right ice cream. I always wonder when I watch you guys watching me, is, is am I on the right? Because this is my left hand, but I feel like I have to be like a weatherman and go the opposite so that it looks the way I want it to look. I will tell you, and this may shock you, that I have some clients with whom I've worked who are horrendous writers. They'll be the first ones to say, Liz, I can't, I am not a good writer at all, like help. Cool, we get you a great editor. But you know what? They're selling hundreds if not thousands of books every month because they're real good at selling. You can pen like the Anna Karenina of our day. But if you can't sell, then your book is just going to sit there. And that is awful. None of us is good at everything. None is a contraction of no one. So lesson of the day. People always say, none None of these are going to work. No, it's none is. I know it sounds weird. You can say none are. It's fine. I won't. It's cool. I just want to let you know that. Sometimes it takes so much time, energy, and money to become even kind of good at stuff that we're not good at that it actually makes more sense to bring on a partner.